channel my name is Doug I've got another fountain pen related video for you today not guitar related fountain pen I thought I'd do an intro with my guitar just to show that I have guitar fingernails I ordered this galaxy a long long time ago from a place far far away finally the galaxy is within my grasp Luke come to me I am your father <laughs> in my grasp. Okay, here we go with the unboxing of the much anticipated, much awaited Galaxy 500. Here's one of 13 models of the new Ford, and they've all been tastefully restyled for 1966. This is the 7-liter two-door hardtop, which features front-wheel disc brakes and a new 428 cubic inch engine. This sporty convertible displays some additional styling features. A distinctive front grille incorporates parking and turn signal lamps. And massive tail lights give the 1966 Ford's strong rear-end identification. Here we are, lots of Chinese styrofoam. And here is the Pen BBS 500 Galaxy. That would be color 52. And the ubiquitous cat sticker. And there's Amber saying wink wink. No other gifties? Oh. oh, God. See, I have my pen rest already in Galaxy. Nothing up my sleeve. And now... Hey, Rocky, watch me pull a rabbit out of my hat. But that trick never worked. This time for sure. Presto! Well, I'm getting close. Presto! The Pen BBS box. And inside, we do have a gifty. It is a beautiful, oh my goodness, a beautiful kimono pen sleeve for my Galaxy. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that. I've received one other with my Galaxy 480. And here is the pen in its pen sleeve. Shall we do an ASMR? And one. Close your eyes. Just relax. Breathe deep. And there is that beautiful pen. Let's just take a moment. This pen is still cold out of the mailbox, but just at first glance. There's my beautiful fine point mini Fude Pain BBS nib. And one of the reasons I chose Galaxy was because it's not transparent and you don't see that spring in there. Yeah, that is disappointing in the terms of the posting. You can't write with this pen posted, unfortunately. Let's see if I can undo this. It's not that difficult. 
and the first push, yep, first push is going to be the one that's a problem. No, nope, that's going to work fine. And twist it back on again. Yep. If an old man like me can figure that out in 10 seconds, you can too. Okay, back in a moment to take a look at this and do some size comparisons, some measurements, and a writing sample. So before I ink it up, I thought I would look at the pieces now that I've got it apart to clean it out. I took the uh, nib assembly out of the section and uh, shot it through with some soapy water and rinsed it out. And uh, that's an easy process. And before we look at all the different parts of the pen all together, I thought I'd look at all the parts disassembled. So here's that spring mechanism. And it was very easy to get this piece off. I just used my fingers and it uh, came right out. And so this was already siliconed up a little bit. Of course, the first plunge was uh, a little bit more difficult than sub subsequent ones. But what's interesting is that barrel is completely acrylic. There are no metal parts on that at all. Um, I think that's unlike the 456 and unlike the 355. And of course, there's a nice wide cap band on this cap and a very interesting finial. So I decided to ink it up with some Asagao rather than the Pelican Edelstein Sapphire that I bought for this pen because the Sapphire ended up being a little bit more purple than this and I need something that's a little bit darker blue to match this glorious resin. So I'm going to put it back together again. Why don't we do it on camera? Why not? Use my little rubber mat to give it the final twist. I have this handy little gadget. It's a uh, 10 by loop, which I got at uh, Lee Valley. And for Christmas, I got in my stocking this little clip light for your glasses, but I put it on the loop. So you can point the light at your, pardon the expression, you can point the light at your nib and illuminate it while you're looking at it. Just like, like that. Well, I don't know whether I can do it on camera or not. It's better with my eye. But uh, works out very nicely, so I can take a look at the alignment of those tines. They actually look to be very nice. Interesting section. So, let's put it together here. Looks like there's already enough silicone grease on that. So, that slides right in there. And this just finger tights. Actually, I may just off camera put a little bit of silicone grease right there too because this is a potential place for ink spillage. But just hand tight there and just tighten up that. And that's very, that's easy to do. From some others' descriptions, I thought that might be difficult. It's just that fast and easy. So I got the pen back together again, and before I ink it up, I thought it's so beautiful, it's worth having a beauty tour here for just for a few seconds. Okay, okay, so uh, it's a new filling system, so I should actually ink this up on camera, right, for the first time. So let's give it a try. Rushuzuku, Asagao, open up the back button, very easy to do.
turn it the other way. I want to make sure that I close that because I had greased it up. Yep, it's closed. I like that, that you don't have to use a tool to open that up. Put it down in the ink. Push it down. Here's some bubbles. That spring is very strong. I'll try it this way. Just keep pumping it until you don't hear any more bubbles. I think that's a nice bright blue. That should, should do us nicely. I know a lot of people like their nibs to show a lot of ink, but uh, I like them clean. And then we turn this the other way and just slide it back in. Not like a 355 where there's danger of ink falling out of there. And just give that a turn. Uh-oh, my guitar thumbnail has gone blue. Uh-oh, don't want to get ink on my J200. I'm going to close that back up again. And we're ready to write. Write. We're ready to write. Let's see if it writes right out of the box. No fancy Hollywood tricks here, folks. Well, that's writing okay. I got a couple of little skips there, but the first time out of the box, we'll let it write for a while and a proper writing sample. Okay, now that I've stopped drooling all over the finish, let's take a good look at this fountain pen. What I'm going to do is look at the parts and features of this pen, give some measurements and size comparisons, and do a writing sample. Please stay tuned to the end of the video where I'll tell you what I like and what I don't like about the pen. And speaking of likes, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell to be notified when I upload a new video. So, starting from the top, the top of the pen is a metal finial chrome that vaguely echoes the finial of the Pelican and is part of the structure that holds the clip. The clip is the same sword style as in the Pen BBS 456 and 480 models. I quite like that sword clip myself. The cap tapers up slightly and then tapers slightly down to the large cap band. This cap band is identical, virtually identical to the 355 cap band. The only difference is the text is in a different font now. It's in big bold pen BBS letters and where the 355 just said 355 on the bottom, on the back, this one says 500, but also has these, it took me, I had to get my glass out to see, figure out what that was. But it's a, a script P, I don't know whether I can see that or not, a script P with a stylized yin yang symbol on both sides. The cap band also goes all the way to the bottom, just like on the 355, which will protect. And I'm noticing that there's a slight difference in terms of that part there as I look at them close up. Slight difference. The cap band does go all the way to the bottom of the cap, which will protect that resin for many years. The cap band steps down here as part of the band and that makes the step down to the body less than a millimeter. The barrel tapers up slightly to the middle where it starts tapering down again. So there's a little bulge right here. Same thing on the cap. There's a slight bulge there, which is very nice. 
and then it steps down at this point and then tapers down to the end cap, which is two rings. One is the small ring that you turn to get the pen open and to do cleaning and so forth. And the other is the little ring that you turn to withdraw the piston rod. The cap opens with one, almost two turns to reveal a section of the same material as the cap and body. And that's one of the things I love about Pen BBS, that the sections match the resin of the body and the cap, not just a piece of black plastic. And it reveals a fine mini Fude Pen BBS nib. The nib is typical and says, get the light right here, Pen BBS since 2005, uh, script F and China at the base right there with some scroll work, a typical fine point mini Fude Pen BBS nib. The cap threads are part of the barrel and the section and barrel separate and there's a chrome band right there that says made in China in small serif font and Shanghai in a block lettered serif font. So there's rounded threads you don't feel at all. There's the first step to the band is part of the section and then the band and then those threads and then another step to the barrel, to the rest of the barrel. The section itself tapers down towards the nib and there is a substantial ridge right there built into it. And there's a look at the plastic feed. All in all, that is a very nice size section. And I wrote with this pen for about an hour and did not feel fatigued or feel any irritation. Uh, I can write with it in many different locations. In fact, I, I wrote with it with my thumb up here on the barrel and I wrote with it down here. It was all very comfortable. When I first put that nib to paper, uh, as you saw earlier, it was a little dry, which is typical for many of these pen BBS nibs. However, with just three strokes of a gapping tool, it was a .004 millimeter gapping tool, it's now smooth and glassy and very, very wet. It is every bit as excellent as my beloved Galaxy 480. Two beautiful nibs, two beautiful pens. Now it's time for some measurements and dimensions and size comparisons, and I'll be right back with a writing sample. Stay with me. My son turned 10 just the other day. He said, thanks for the ball, Dad, come on, let's play. Can you teach me to throw? I said, not today, I've got a lot to do. He said, that's okay, and he, he walked away, but his smile never dimmed and said, I'm gonna be like him, yeah. You know I'm gonna be like him. And, and now we're back the with the writing sample for the Pen BBS 500 Galaxy. I had to put in its little kimono. Isn't that beautiful? I failed to show earlier, but these little pen sleeves have Pen BBS logo, stylized logo, sewn into the lining. Very special. And I believe only the special finishes come with those little kimonos. It's not just that uh, Pen BBS loves me particularly, but they, when you buy a Galaxy or I think Aurora is another one, uh, not Tutsi, but maybe uh, Niangao is a cat. I'm not sure because I don't own one of those, but I know I got one with the Galaxy and I know that one came with the uh, Aurora finish. So let's put some pen to paper here. This is the pen BBS 500. 
galaxy. This is a fine nib. And the ink today is a Roshizuku Asagao. Let's check the wetness. Now that I've done a little bit of surgery on this, it is much wetter than it was and very, very enjoyable. Very, very smooth nib. I did no smoothing on it at all. As to line variation, that's a light stroke. That's a pushed stroke. This is very stiff. As is typical of Pen BBS, there is little to no bounce on these nibs. Not that I expect it. And for some reverse writing, it does do it. It's not as scratchy as some of these have been, uh, but it's very dry, but you do get a very thin line. If you're gonna get some line variation, that's the way to do it on this nib by reversing it. Let's listen to this. Very, very lovely writing experience. And for some fast writing. No problems keeping up. Now, so what do I like and what do I not like about this pen? My main issue with the pen is the lack of posting. Not that I'm a stickler for posting pens, as I love my Pen BBS 323, and it isn't even designed to post. But this design right here frustrates me. Because that, I, f I feel like the pen geniuses at Pen BBS, and I do mean geniuses, these people are nothing short of amazing, but they frustrate me here because Everything in the shape of this pen suggests that it will post. This step down at the back of the barrel, why is it there if not to accommodate posting? Even if this part stepped down a, a bit more and didn't taper, if it went down quite significantly and went straight across here and didn't taper down to accommodate posting, I'd be fine with that. But if it doesn't accommodate posting, what's it there for? So I'm no engineer, but, but I don't get this. This is weird. Um, and that's the extent of my dislikes. And I don't mind this pen at all. I'll just write with it not posted, but I, I'm confused about this shape. I'm confused. It's not for aesthetics, I don't think. The rest of my comments here are just kudos. Um, this pen is amazing. It's beautiful. The Galaxy finish is stunning. I love the section. I love the, the ring at the base of the section. Um, I love the gentle bulging curve here and here on this pen. Uh, maybe people don't notice these things, but you, cer you certainly notice it in your hand. Uh, it's one of the things that makes my 323 such a beautiful, uh, sensual experience. Uh, because the way that curve hugs the crook of my hand is, is very satisfying. Um, so, and it also writes like butter. And the filling system is cool. It's one of the reasons I got this pen, because of that really cool filling system. I have no problem releasing that little knob 
right there. People were concerned that their slippery fingers or whatever, I'm just laying my finger on there very, very lightly, just like that, and it unscrews. And it won't unscrew by accident. And if it does unscrew by accident, it's not going to do anything, right? You push it back in and give it a twirl. If you have difficulty um, in getting that out, just find a rubber band or something like that and, and give it a twist. And that'll get it off of there. That's, that's really not an issue. That's so easy to get off. And it's so easy to fill uh, that it's, it's super cool. So this is no Twisby Go, folks. This pen has heft. It has style, a substantial, elegant writing instrument. So there you have it, finally. The Pen BBS Galaxy 500. I will have to live with it for a while before I do a comparison between my 456, my 355, and the 500. Ooh, sounds like a shootout is coming. So I'm going to live with these three pens for a while, and uh, maybe I'll do a, a shootout between the three of them and see which one comes out on top. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell if you want to be notified when a new video comes out. That just leaves it for me to say... Little boy blue and the man in the moon When you come on home, son, I don't know Thank you We'll get together then Watch it know we'll have a good time then And that's all she wrote